Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing really well and having a really great day. Iron Fish is on its way to the mainnet and in today's video I will show you how you can set up and create your wallet that you can mine to and earn some iron token. So let's get started. <music> The first thing we need to do is to go to the ironfish.network website, I'm currently on it, and uh, you might be wondering what this is. I've spun up a virtual machine to install everything on it, and I will show you how this is going to work. Uh, I faced a couple issues, but I will talk about this. So the first thing we do is uh, we see in 16 minutes the mainnet will launch. We can see this up here, and uh, what we want to do is we want to click on get started. It will take us to the installation page of Ironfish. What I found out is they only state you that you need to install Node.js 18 on Windows if you're using Windows, because this guide or tutorial is about Windows. I will probably make a video about how to do this on Linux as well, but for now this is just for Windows, but this shouldn't be an issue due to the fact that everything is basically explained and the, the steps or the installation requirements you need are for every system basically the same. So they state here that you need to install Node.js and afterwards you can um, you can update this and you can create everything you need, but this isn't really true. What you need for Windows is a little bit more. They guide you to the Node.js website. If you click on the link Node.js 18, it will take you over to the Node.js download website. What you need to do here is download the Windows installer and maybe 32 bits or 64 bits whatever you choose, download it and install it on your system. Afterwards, what you definitely need is Python on your system. So go to go to on the website python.org and click on download and then you can click on download Python 3.11.3 .3 and install this as well. Python is basically a programming language that is needed to do everything else. What I also installed is Rust. I downloaded the Rust installation XE. Uh, you can also choose here for the 64-bit or the 32-bit, whatever your system is running on, choose the correct version. In the most cases, it's the 64-bit version. Just download this and it will guide you through the Visual Studio installation. So do everything and install all the necessary things. I don't think that I need to show you how to install a, uh, a program due to the fact that this should be common sense. If your Rust installation doesn't install Visual Studio, look for Visual Studio on Google and go to the download page and download the community version. This one is for free. And afterwards, your system should be good to go. So we can head back to the ironfish.network, get installation website and start doing what we need to do. The first thing we need to do is to open a Windows PowerShell and run this as an administrator. And what we can do then is install npm install-g ironfish. If you have done so, it should look like something like this. If I type in ironfish, it should give me information about ironfish. In just a second. And as you can see, I'm running on the version 0.1.76. So this is working. If you set up a new version on Windows and you haven't changed anything, you need or you will face a issue in the installation. I will probably show a picture about this in a second in this video. But what you can do to solve this problem is go to your settings and in the settings search for a script. In my case I need to type it in in German but uh, type it in in your local language, um, click on it, scroll all the way down and you will find PowerShell scripts. Um, this button should be blue to you. What you need to do is click on apply and apply this and afterwards you can restart your system. Once you have restarted your system, you can go back into the MP, uh, into your PowerShell and keep in mind you need to open this as an administrator. If you have done so, now you can then copy this command npm install-g ironfish. It will download all the necessary installation tools that you need for the ironfish, uh, for the ironfish node. 
what you can do afterwards is then run ironfish start and this should start the ironfish node on your system this will take a couple of seconds but as you can see it is starting now we can open another powershell also as an as an administrator i'm not really sure if you really need to do this as an administrator but it should be fine we can now type in iron fish and then wallet and it should give us a couple of commands okay now we can see all the commands that we have we can create a new wallet with the wallet double point create so if you put in iron fish wallet double point create it should create us a new wallet this will take a while due to the fact that this is on a virtual machine uh, enter the name of the account video video test and here we go we now have got our new wallet and what we can do now is then um, type in iron fish wallet and then address and then i put in the name video test and it should give us or the public address of this wallet address and th this is the address you need to mine to what you also can do is that you can extract or export the wallet this is something you need if you want to change from this powershell to uh, something like a graphical wallet that might come later in the next couple of days so that you don't need to download all those things and just have a, a wallet something like Zelco or anything else maybe they will implement it in the future we don't know but for now this is what you need to do to get a iron an iron fish wallet uh, yeah we can put in iron fish wallet double point export and then the name video test and it should give us the private key here you can see it's giving us the private key for this wallet that's it how you create your own ironfish wallet and when you go to HiveOS, we can actually mine to it so let's jump over to this okay here we are back in our mining system it's running on hive os uh, that's one of my test benches i have two 3060s in here and a 4070 but i don't really utilize this 4070 so we can go over to flight sheets and we can create a new flight sheet for this in this case you type in iron and you select a wallet here you can simply paste in the wallet address that you get when you put an ironfish wallet double point address so you put in your uh, ironfish wallet address in here then you give it a name afterwards we can select a pool in this case i'm using flex pool we choose worldwide and as a miner you can choose between bc miner or srb miner uh, i use as a b miner in this case we choose to disable the cpu and if you want to do some overclockings you can do this in the device configurations tab and that's how you can mine ironfish i hope you enjoyed the video if you like this content give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out the next video thanks for watching guys and see you on the next one